So there's this research lab that's actually paying people to try one of the most wild meditation experiences that I've ever had. It is like packing 10 years of meditation experience into 12 minutes of brain stimulation. Join me, Dr. Cody Rawl. I'm a neurotechnology expert as we head to LA to get my brain stimulated by doctors Nico Regente and Josh Kane with some really cool new tech. Both researchers are UCLA grads that have been working with groups like the Joe Dispenza retreats, more on that later here in the video, to quantify transcendent experiences with gold standard neuroscience research. Back in June, they invited me out to the lab to visit and document the work that they're doing with focused ultrasound to stimulate specific areas of your brain to create experiences unlike you've ever had before. We'll let you get up to the top of the hill see the view, appreciate it, so that you can then in the future develop the discipline and practice to be able to climb up there yourself. Wait, so you mean that they're using the same tech that they use in hospitals to take a look at babies in the womb? Yep, it turns out that if you combine the ultrasound waves, it actually stimulates and activates the tissue underneath in a harmless way. I'll let Joshua Kane, the head researcher on this project, explain. It's high frequency sound waves that uh, you can't hear. Instead of a flat wave, coming out like you have in ultrasound imaging, it's focused onto a particular point. So at this focal point, you will typically obtain higher intensities than you use in ultrasound imaging. And this is to uh, confidently generate um, neuromodulation at that point. Despite the rockstar attention to this tech, I was still pretty nervous about trying it out. It's about 3 p.m. in Las Vegas. I just finished seeing patients for the day. I'm gonna drive out to LA tonight. As I drove from Las Vegas to the lab in Santa Monica, I couldn't help but wonder, what would I experience? Is it possible to actually cause injury to my brain tissue from this procedure? And would I freak out in the MRI machine when they're mapping my brain? They need the brain MRI to guide focused ultrasound to stimulate my brain while I meditate. Yeah. Just got back to the hotel from the brain MRI, went fine. I can tell why people get claustrophobic in those things though. I had heard rumors of this technique before, but I became even more interested when Mary Lou Jepsen of Open Water said that they are setting up a study at the University of Tucson to further develop ultrasound stimulation of brain circuits using their wearable for the treatment of depression and other mental health disorders. This has been uh, proliferating through scientific research and um, a lot of people are looking into consumer products. In fact, the same researcher that's running that study was a co-author on Nico's latest paper discussing the modality of the effect of ultrasound on brain circuitry. To kind of quote Jay Sanguinetti, who's, who's pioneered some of this work alongside us, it's kind of a little bit like putting training wheels on the bike. Like you, you can still get the sensation of riding the bike, but you have training wheels on, so that makes it more accessible to people that you know aren't able to ride a bike yet and you know want to go and climb up this massive hill. That afternoon, I saw a few telemedicine patients and mostly tried to relax and rest at my hotel in LA to prepare for the next day ahead. Cody yesterday received an MRI image of his head and brain and what we're going to do today is use that to target focus ultrasound onto some small regions inside his brain. Honestly, at first, the lab setup for the research study was a little intimidating, but it has to be this way because they have to be very precise with the triangulation of stimulation areas. So they had to lock me in for the experience. Overall though, I was quite comfortable throughout the entire experience. And then we got started. At first I had some anxiety and I noticed a lot of self-monitoring because I didn't really know what to expect and I was really curious to see what would happen. But halfway into the study, I started to hear this tapping sound, which I assumed was the ultrasound stimulation. They didn't tell me a whole lot at first to help avoid setting up any expectations and placebo effect. So I started running through my regular meditation routine while sitting there. But what I noticed is that I started to feel really good, even with a body high. And then I noticed myself becoming intensely grateful. My thoughts started to wander to a lot of positivity about being on this trip, doing work that I just absolutely love, to having the health and prosperity of my family. I recorded this next clip right after the experience so I could document exactly how I was feeling in the moment. I was giddy. <laughs> 
I was like giddy with joy. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like actually pretty amazing. And I just felt really good. 20 to 30 minutes, just feeling very excited, confident, present, and bubbly. And then after that energetic surge of energy, I started coming down from it and just felt very peaceful, very calm, very cared for, very centered and grounded. I didn't know this until later, but they were stimulating my kade, which could have been the source of my euphoria. My internal chatter and dialogue really didn't quiet down like it does in a lot of my meditation sessions at home, likely because it was somewhat of a sensory overload with a lot going on, and they actually weren't targeting the default mode network like they do in some other parts of the study, which theoretically could help quiet down internal monologue and self-referential thinking. So I'll have to be sure to go back to the lab sometime and try that setting to see how it feels. Afterwards, I talked more with Nico and Josh about the experience and what they were planning to do with this technology in the near future. I remember we were talking about the ultrasound stimulation procedure last time I was here and it was sort of like, you should come back and check it out. And I'm glad we made it happen because that was a really incredible experience. Yeah, I'm happy you got to experience that. You're, you know, one of uh, maybe in the dozens of people that have actually had that type of experience. Uh, the wave of neuromodulation is coming, right? It's, it's okay, now what are the best ways to do this non-invasively and with high spatial precision? You know, if I go and touch my hand, the reason that I can feel that, the neurons that are located at this part of my hand are actually being depressed by this touch, so mechanically depressed. Mm -hmm. And that's allowing the cell membrane to change and conform such that then now the chemical gradient can change. A likely candidate of what's happening in the brain with ultrasound is that the ultrasonic waves are actually providing almost like a vibratory effect mechanically and allowing the same type of thing to happen, right? So those neurons are not typically mechanoreceptors, they're not innervating our cells, and they're not normally touched, but since ultrasound can propagate through the skull, it actually allows for them to be touched. Nico really put this technology into the context of how it could be used to treat mental health disorders like depression and PTSD and see success rates akin to the impressive results of psychedelics therapy that we're seeing right now. You know, how are psychedelics conferring such dramatic benefits on updating belief structures, promoting positive change and well-being? Is it the experience or is it the pharmacological interactions? For me, of course, of course, the answer is that is the experience, but you know it's being studied right now. But it's interesting to be able to leverage neuromodulation. Like, of course, you're you know making a modulation of neurons in this in a non-similar way, but similar in concept to a pharmaceutical approach. But really, it's about can we induce a particular type of experience that will then be therapeutic for you in some capacity. So I like to think of things from that angle. Okay, we'll let you get up to the top of the hill see the view, appreciate it, so that you can then in the future develop you know, the discipline and practice to be able to climb up there yourself. It was great to talk more to Josh as well, who gave us his insights about where this technology is headed in the near future. I think eventually there'll be advancements in the equipment that allow for greater spatial precision through multiple elements. So right now, remember, there's just like this one puck that we have on the side of your head. Right by maybe having uh, many more or smaller of these pucks, right, synchronized in uh, some complex ways, you can get a, a much more precise focus. You can have a better understanding of where the energy is going and how much energy is, is input. I think there'll be advances in that that will allow ultrasound to do uh, much more than it currently can in a research setting. And of course, I couldn't resist asking Nico more about the work that they're doing with the Joe Dispenza group. We've been fortunate enough to be working with uh, Dr. Hemel Patel at UCSD, who invited myself and my colleague Leo Moore um, to to go and attend one of the more recent uh, retreats that Joe Dispenza held in Nashville, um, mainly as a way to go and understand the experience itself and, and try and understand the types of experiences that people are having um, and the ways in which we could track that, both EEG and fMRI and looking at you know global brain measures like modularity, things that are typically seen uh, changing as a function of meditation retreats. I honestly loved every second of this trip and I went camping that night before heading home the next day to clear my thoughts and think about what I had seen. By the fireside, I was left with a lot of questions. What exactly does it mean if we can generate deep experiences by stimulating the brain with technology? What does it mean for humanity in the near future? 
If you wanna experience what I just showed here in the video and get paid while doing it, head to the lab link below and apply to be a part of their research study. Let me know in the comments if you would get your brain stimulated by this type of technology, and I'll see you on the next one.